Today marks four years to the day Ahmad Arbery was killed in the Satilla Shores neighborhood in Brunswick. His murder garnered national and international attention. Arbery's killers were sentenced to life in prison back in 2022, but the case against former Brunswick District Attorney Jackie Johnson has stalled. Johnson is accused of using her office, her authority, to protect the McMichaels. As Tristan Hardy reports, Johnson's day in court could take several more years. So former Brunswick District Attorney Jackie Johnson was charged with obstruction and violating her oath of office, and she since pleaded not guilty. The Office of the Attorney General say they never stopped fighting for Ahmaud Aubrey and his family. Ahmaud Aubrey's killers are in prison, but when we last talked to Marcus Aubrey Sr., Ahmaud's father, he said the fight for justice... We even got about Jackie Johnson. ...isn't over. Her, her day's coming up in court. The day's waiting now turned into years. So far, Johnson waived arraignment in 2022. involving the murder of Aubrey. She's pleaded not guilty. While the Office of the Attorney General say they're fully prepared to present their case, a new hearing date hasn't been scheduled yet. It's not the normal case. So take away the normality. Daryl Cohen is a defense attorney in Georgia. He says prosecuting a prosecutor is unprecedented. So a trial of Johnson, he says, will take longer than expected. So the fact that it's taking a long time is troubling because the public wants to see something happen, but it's not necessarily a bad thing to make sure that all of the proper steps and procedures are taken. The Attorney General's office said court proceedings take varying periods of time depending on a host of factors, including the caseload of the courts, judges, and lawyers. Again, no new hearing dates have been scheduled yet, and legal experts say it could take years before we see a trial date. It's possible. Today marks four years. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. How y'all doing? Yes, yes, yes. I had to take a little vacation. Um, and uh, I am back, ready to hit y'all with some more. Uh, information that you know we can use as a family you know it really disgusts me that uh, Jackie Johnson is not uh, on trial yet although all this time has passed four years since the mod's killing uh, and they talking about it could take even longer. It's not taking that long for Marilyn Mosby. And neither is it taking um, this extremely long when we're dealing with Fonnie Lewis. So what I want to know from all the black folk that are so filled with self-hatred, I want to know how many of y'all have dissected her case Jackie Johnson like he did Fonnie or like you're doing Marilyn Mosby how many of y'all self-hating coons hate to call you that but that's what you are are having the same smoke <laughs> that you have for Fonnie Lewis and that you have for Marilyn Mosby are y'all calling her a city girl mayor? Because if you ask me, I think there's no one has done something so egregious as Jackie Johnson to betray the community's trust, to hide evidence, to stall a trial, and to let your friends go. And they were involved in the murder is just beyond... It's just beyond comprehension to me. But I notice I don't hear none of my brothers out here talking about her. And so until you do, what you have to, you, you like what the Native Americans said about, it's like black men speak with forked tongue because he learned from his assimilator. And um, when I hear y'all with the same smoke, for Jackie Johnson, who allowed them people 
who allowed Greg McMichael to be in that district attorney's office for eight years without having a recertification. Then when he got certified, he lost it again just so he could get his pension. Now, you tell me the unethical stuff that goes on on that side. And because you have been trained, like on Django, to have all kinds of smoke for your own and none for your natural enemy, I feel you are lowered and low. And so for all y'all that got smoke for Fonnie, let me see you have some smoke for Fonnie Willis. I mean for um, Jackie Johnson. Because what Fonnie is accused of ain't nothing compared to the person that she's supposed to be prosecuting. An insurrectionist. A rapist, a, f- a liar, and a thief. But y'all ain't got no smoke for them. And the sad part about it is her own people. It's her own people. And so when I want to hear um, an unbiased assessment about Fani, to be honest with you, I listen to my white brothers and sisters. for justice and not MAGA or not jumping on a bandwagon because they don't want to see because they they already run things they don't have to uh, feel intimidated by anyone and anything but y'all color folks are trying to get butter biscuits and a lot of y'all again will take on the detriment and the, just the vitriol on your own people as opposed to the people that you are simulating. I ain't going to go into it because you didn't already heard enough. But this is what I want to say about uh, Jackie Johnson. Um, the grand jury indicted a Brunswick Judicial Circuit DA, Jackie Johnson, on charges of interfering with the investigation into Ahmaud Aubrey's murder. Her trial, ha- however, has still not been scheduled to start because her defense lawyer's time is tied up with an ongoing racketeering case in Full County, Fulton County, according to the official. It's true because I saw him. Uh, The defense attorney, Brian Steele, is defending rapper Young Thug in a sprawling racketeering case in Atlanta. These conflicts mean that no hearing dates can be scheduled in Johnson's own case, the official said. As well, Steele has yet to send in legal documents responding to a filing by the Georgia Attorney's District. General's office, the official said. Look at this. Steele has not responded to repeated requests for an interview by the current. Why they haven't given this case to somebody else since he's so busy? Because they want it to go down. They want to stall it and hope the players die. Both the state attorney's general office, which is trying the case against Johnson, And the judge overseeing the trial have told the current that they are ready to move forward expeditiously. I am committed to trying to get this case resolved one way or another as soon as we can do it. Semi-retired Bullock County Supervisor Court Judge John Turner said when reached by phone, we remain fully prepared to present our case in court. And we look forward to do and with the opportunity to do so. And that was the spokesman for uh, Attorney General Chris Carr's office. Our goal is to secure maximum justice for Armand Aubrey and his family. And we have never stopped fighting for them. While she awaits trial, Johnson, who was voted out of office in 2020 after people realized that she was a uh, scandalous wench, 
remains a lawyer in good standing in Georgia and Florida, according to state's respective bar association. Now, she remains in good standing in Georgia and in Florida. She received a $10,000 recognizance bond after her arrest and a same-day release from jail. How come y'all ain't talking about that, O'Shea Du Jackson? You do very good commentary. Why don't you do some commentary about something that really means something? Get off of H uh, Tiffany Henyard. She's an aberration. And anybody else who does things that egregious with a high-profile author, not somebody having sex with somebody. Because people do that all the time. Johnson never had an arrangement which is a standard but optional part of the criminal process where a defendant is read their charges and they plead guilty or not guilty. The arraignment hearing was originally scheduled for December 29th, but had to be rescheduled, and that was in, for 2022, but it had to be rescheduled due to conflicts from Johnson's lawyers. Johnson later waived her right to have one, and her lawyer pleaded not guilty on her behalf. You see how this criminal evil stuff continues to take a hold and stay planted in our judicial system. Still, as part of a court filing seeking dismissal of the case against Johnson, called the charges against her a complete and utter fabrication of reality. Really. Really. She took more than 16 phone calls from Greg McMichael. But it's a complete, utter fabrication. More than a year after Aubrey was killed, Glenn County Grand Jury indicted Johnson on one count of violating her oath of office and one count of obstructing and hindering law enforcement. She is alleged to have tried to keep her former investigator, Greg McMichael, along with his son and neighbor, from being arrested after they killed a 23-year-old Brunswick jogger on February 23, 2020. A jury later found all three white men guilty of murdering Aubrey, who is black, as if you didn't know, in a case that put American racism on full display and shone harsh light on Glenn County's criminal justice system. A la Mississippi, Emmett Till, anybody else that we've continued to have to bury because of racism and injustice. The indictment and a court filing from the Attorney General's office highlighted some of the state's evidence against Johnson. The prosecutors alleged that Johnson was in repeated contact with George, with the McMichael. Waycross Area DA George Barnhill and other Glenn County law enforcement officials after Aubrey's killing. She did not immediately recuse herself from the potential criminal case of her former employee, despite her doing so with past cases where, the, where there was potential conflicts of interest. Instead of recusing herself, Johnson told her colleague, Barnhill, to urgently look at the case and render a decision. Barnhill decided the shooting was legally justified. And only after that did Johnson contact the AG's office about a conflict of interest. Listen to this. That's why I hope they rot in prison die in prison, it don't matter to me. I ask God to smite all my enemies. I don't know about y'all, okay? I ain't on that wagon y'all on. Johnson failed to disclose, however, that Barnhill had already reviewed the case and declared the case to be self-defense. 
Self-defense, these two white men chasing a black man unarmed through a neighborhood and blew a hole in his chest. For nothing but jogging. And they had to wait two months before they was even called in because of this bitch. Johnson effectively chose the outcome of the case despite having a conflict, the AG's motion said. Johnson requested Barnhill to be the DA overseeing the uh, case. The, the motion stated. This article was done by uh, Jake Shore of The Current. Um, and uh, I hope he continues to keep us informed about Jackie Johnson because she's the most rottenest, egregious, filthy district attorney that this society has seen as a female. This is beyond city girl. Okay, and that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments below, and if you like, you can share the video. Because I'll see you in the next one.